Hi friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time here, thank you so much for clicking on this video. My name is Fee and together with my family of four, we moved here to the Netherlands from the United States. So guys, I know I left you with a huge cliffhanger from the last video. And so here I am with a second part, which is the conclusion of my birthing story. If you haven't watched that already, pause this video, Go and watch that so this video makes a lot more sense and then come back here and watch this video. And in addition to that, if you haven't subscribed already, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. So guys, go ahead and get comfortable, get yourself your favorite drink and we'll get right into it. So a couple things guys I wanted to point out is that obviously being here in the Netherlands I came to find out that home births were the norm. Now that is something that was very foreign to me. I had not had experience with that before and it took a little warming up too but then after building a relationship with my midwives for the nine months of my pregnancy I felt very comfortable about giving birth at home and that's the choice that I made. However towards the end of my pregnancy I did have a little bit of a medical situation so the midwives recommended that I give birth in hospital. So that was a little bit of a bummer. However, I did respect their recommendation and I was going to give birth in the hospital and I was going to do it in the water. So I was going to have a water birth. However, you guys will see from the clips that I will share that that was not to be the case and that I instead gave birth at home. Now, the reason I wanted to talk to you guys before I start the video is because there's some parts that I'm missing and that's because Randy, who's my husband, had switched off the camera and had taken everything into the car for us to go into hospital. When I left off the last video, you guys saw me get onto my knees and that's because I was in a lot of pain. My contractions had peaked at that point and I was just in excruciating pain. So while I was on my knees, the midwife had gone out because she'd gone into a car. She was going to lead us into hospital and Randy had gone to take the rest of our belongings, including the camera, into the car. So I got on my knees and I was feeling a lot of gushing of what I had assumed was my water breaking. However, when Randy got back into the house and was helping me up from my knees, when we looked down, there was a pool of blood. And guys, when I say a pool of blood, it was literally a lot of blood. So at that point in time, I was in too much pain to freak out. Randy was freaking out. He ran out and called the midwife who was in her car. So she had to park her car and come back into the house. So she came back into the house. And at that point, guys, I had managed to walk kind of like towards the front door of the house and I was leaning on a bench and I was having the worst pain. Like the pain had completely peaked. My body was shaking so much and I was having urges to push. Like my body just kept wanting to push. So Randy and the midwife managed to get me back into the living room, which that took a lot of effort because I could not move. For some reason, my body just wanted to push and I could not move. They managed to get me back into the living room and had me lay down on the couch. Now, something else that you'll notice too is that you'll see I had two midwives instead of one midwife. Now, the reason for this is because my first midwife was getting ready to end her shift and she was going to take me to hospital and then the second midwife was going to take over once we got to hospital however this little baby had a mind of their own and that's not how things worked out and so the first midwife never really left until after i gave birth and the second midwife also came when i was giving birth and that's because a lot was happening and it was happening fast so that's why you'll notice that there was two midwives on there something else guys that's really cool is that my baby was born in the sack and they told me that that's really really rare unfortunately you wouldn't get to see that in the clip and that's because how the camera is positioned and the midwife was able to like uh, I guess poke it out I'm not sure how that really works I did see the sack after the fact but my water never broke and the baby was born in the sack towards the end of the video you will notice that a third nurse comes in with a uniform and that was the crumbs org and I thought it was so cool that they were still able to come despite the fact that I gave birth late into the night I didn't realize that's how it worked I thought they would come the next day but no they were here into the night right after I gave birth now one more thing guys before before I get started with the clips 
of me giving birth, I wanted to say how amazing the midwives here in the Netherlands are. Again, I had never had any experience with a midwife until I got pregnant. I did not have a midwife in the US. I had a gynecologist and it was just such a wonderful experience. I mean, they are just miracle workers. The fact that my situation was an urgent situation, things went from zero to a hundred in a matter of minutes. They had every single tool, I guess, for lack of better words, with them. You know, nothing was lacking because I wasn't in hospital. I was greatly taken care of. I was in good hands. Never once did it feel like things were not going to go well. You know, they handled everything impeccably and I cannot say enough good things about my experience with my midwives here in the Netherlands. Anyways, guys, I hope you get to enjoy the conclusion of my birthing video. Again, thank you so much for your love and support throughout my pregnancy. I hope you guys have a wonderful Christmas and a happy new year. And until next time, Dewey. Thank you. Baby. 